What's going on, you guys? So I was going over Tea Time, uh, Slytherin's Tea Time, which if you guys are not familiar with, is their like weekly feature where they focus on upcoming games and uh, kind of hidden secrets kind of thing. And uh, Marco, which is this gentleman right here, he's the head honcho uh, behind the marketing department. He's also the one responsible for Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and Starship Troopers. So he sets all that stuff up so I love him for that. You know, I mean, I'm able to actually play a Battlestar Galactica strategy game because of him. So um, anyway, in this tea time thing, he says something in the next couple of minutes that makes me think that Slytherin has already announced, has already kind of given us the hints of their upcoming IPs. Now, we'll watch it and then I'll give you guys my take after. One guy on Twitter with a totally unpronounceable name asked uh, about these four unannounced projects based on the very popular on very popular IPs uh, I mentioned um, last week, and any chance to reveal more details to on these IPs? Well, there will be announcements coming in the next few weeks. We have um, a constant. Uh, flow of game reveals and streams happening uh, as we go but um, I would say that these IPs we are working on are um, if you go back to uh, the Twitter history of, uh, of Slytherin and some of uh, some paradox as well um, you have a lot of people asking you should make a game on based on this brand or this other brand and so on They've all been mentioned, uh, all these four IPs have been mentioned in these tweets, so you'll find them there. Um, and we, we make sure that, you know, in the next couple of, uh, couple of months or so, we announce them all and make sure that you're, you're on, the pay, on, on the same page of, you know, on what we're doing and what coming, what's coming up. This is huge. Uh, the reason being is, you know, these are very popular IPs that he mentioned. Right. So we know they're not going to be like very small or, you know, uh, very niche IPs. These are big IPs, very popular IPs. So immediately comes to mind is the big ones. Right. So Star Trek, Star Wars. Right. And he mentioned something earlier in the this video right here where he was talking about Star Wars, where they're going to pitch a Star Wars game if they get 100 likes on one of the tweets that they posted. And he says uh, that we're going to do a pitch for a Star Wars game. And that might be a reality in not too distant future. So I'm going to scratch off Star Wars because he mentioned that they're going to pitch a game, which means that they don't have it yet. Right. So that leaves Star Trek. Right. I know that there's been tweets on the Slytherin Twitter and Paradox Twitter about Star Trek, why don't you guys do a IP for Star Trek? And I know that for a fact because I'm the one that freaking, you know, tweeted it. I'm sure other people have, but I know I've t uh, tweeted it multiple times uh, because I want a Star Trek strategy game. It's been, I don't know, 10, 20 years. So it's been a while. But other IPs that I'm thinking of that are very popular, right? So popular now, not popular like 10 years ago, would be, you know, you got, I would say, The Expanse, right? The Expanse is a popular IP right now. Uh, other IPs that would come to mind. You know, to be honest with you guys, I can't think of anything else besides The Expanse, Star Trek. Uh, and I know I'm kind of focusing on the space aspect. But in terms of land-based and, you know, uh, naval combat, you know, I can't think of any, like, TV shows... I mean, like, you have The Last Ship, but that's off TV and it's not popular anymore. Uh, there's no real, I mean, you have, like, Navy Seals, but that's not a real popular show right now. So I can't think of anything that really is, you know, making waves. I mean, you have the Marvel Universe, but, I mean, making a strategy game on the Marvel Universe, that's going to be, I mean, it can work, uh, but I don't. I mean, it's it's Marvel, so I mean, they're going to ask for an arm and a leg in terms of money. Star Wars, like we mentioned, that's off. Uh, CBS has Star Trek. Uh, Disney Plus has Star Wars. Uh, I can't, I mean, you have that um, HBO show, which is uh, Game of Thrones. 
But, you know, I don't think Game of Thrones is, I mean, I would still say, yeah, that's a popular IP. So I could see Game of Thrones being an IP that they announce. Now, we know the day that the new IP is going to be announced, at least the first one, right? Because, and I already know who's going to be doing the IP. And no, I'm not in, you know, like a, a secret conversation with anybody at Slytherin. It's just, you know, I'm putting two pieces together, right? So right now, Tea Time number three focused on fantasy general. Uh, tea Time number four focused on uh, Panzer Corps two. Tea Time for next week is focusing on Starship Troopers, right? So we know the next uh, couple of Tea Times is, you know, games that have already been announced. The tea time after Starship Troopers is a game that's going to be announced that Black Lab Games working on. These are the guys that ran Battlestar Galactica, right? Deadlock. They worked on the first biggest IP for Slytherin, right? Who better to do the next IP than Black Lab Games, who already did a successful launch of an IP uh, for a strategy game. So we know the actual date, which which is going to be on February 9th. So we're going to get the first IP reveal on February 9th. Uh, there's also um, Tea Time 1 on February 16th, and it says Matrix Game Showcase. So possibly another one then. But we know for a fact it's going to be Black Lab Games because, like I said, who else? Um, now, the question I got for you guys is, please list in the comments what IP do you think it is? We'll find out on February 9th, but I can't think of any other IP, you know, that would come to mind that's very popular right now, uh, other than Star Trek, you know, which is taking off on CBS All Access, because you got Star Trek Picard, you got, it, it's an IP that is in real, like, resurgence right now, with all, like, three, four, five uh, TV series, you know, so it, it's really getting a lot of attention. Star Wars is another one, but we covered that one. Uh, Game of Thrones is over, so it was popular. It's semi-popular right now. Uh, I can't think of anything else. If you guys can think of it, let me know. All right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this. Catch you in the next one.